desert may appear to be barren and empty, but they are of cru- Thank you, David. Unfortunately, we aren't there. Our budget isn't quite that large. Remember me? Welcome back to my bedroom. So when you think of planet Earth, uh, you tend to think of the most ferocious animals, like uh, lions, tigers, bugs, whatever this thing is that I found on Quora. But have you really ever stopped to think about an animal so magnificent, so gracious, so graceful, um, as this one? Yeah, neither have I. I don't I don't even know why it's a piece of So, this little furry bundle of joy, uh, the Dipotamus, as its scientific name is, lives in western North America, uh, and has been found in ranches from Canada all the way to southern Mexico. The kangaroo rat has a furry brown coat and grows up to a whopping ten point two centimeters, which is um roughly four inches in height and uh also it uh, grows up to 35.5 centimeters uh in length these little fellas come in at only 4.5 ounces which is about the size of this granola bar i found in my third grade backpack just now <laughs> Kangaroo rats live in a variety of dry, sweltering climates, like the one shown in our beautiful opening. They've been known to inhabit desert flatlands, creosote flats, desert washes, and um, all of these biomes can reach up to 38 degrees Celsius, which is over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, so um... <laughs> That's pretty hot. And they only get 10 inches of rain per year, uh, which is quickly evaporated. To get away from the heat, uh, these little creatures uh, dig holes underground to stay cool and comfortable. Because of the harsh desert conditions that these kangaroo rats live in, they've developed many adaptations to better survive and continue reproducing in the environment. Uh, since there isn't much water in desert habitats, these kangaroo rats have adapted to an all-seed diet. They get all the moisture they need from uh, these seeds, uh, and they use their special nasal passages to just suck in excess moisture from their breath, uh, and that makes it so that they never have to scrounge around for water. They can live most of their lives without seeing it. Another waste of hydration comes through the form of urine. No, this, is, <laughs> this isn't actually uh, urine, this is just, you know, yellow Gatorade. Kangaroo rats have grown so efficient at conserving water, it's affected their pee. Kangaroo rats urine is about five times more concentrated than human urine, and uh, that allows them to lose less water when they're, you know, and survive longer in the desert without having to refill. The desert is also home to many of the kangaroo cat's predators, including owls, snakes, uh, bobcats, foxes, coyotes, badgers, and ringtails. And uh, over time, the kangaroo rats have adapted to a more brown and tan fur with a white underbelly that allows them to blend in with their environment and uh, camouflage to avoid predators. When the power of camouflage uh, doesn't really work, kangaroo rats use their large hind legs to jump 2.7 meters, that's 27 times their body, in the air to avoid predators, uh, and they use their long tails uh, for balance. They've also adapted exceptional hearing with their broad skulls and large ear canals that allow them to hear the beat of an owl's wings as it approaches. Kangaroo rats' large eyes also allow them to see in the dark which helps them uh, search for seeds in cool temperatures. And uh, while all these adaptions are great, here are some things you might have not known about kangaroo rats. God, that's a mouthful every time I say it. Kangaroo rat, kangaroo rat, kangaroo rat. There are over 20 types of these kangaroo rat species, and they all get the same name uh, because when they jump, uh, they do it in a bipedal motion similar to that of like a kangaroo. The species isn't even related to kangaroos or rats. No. Kangaroo rats, like me, like to spend most of their day inside their burrow modifying it to their liking. Uh, they only appear at night to look for food, uh, and even then, they never leave a, like a hundred meter radius of their hole. Uh, they even have little pouches in their cheeks, it's so cute, uh, to carry seeds back to their holes. 
These kangaroo rats also have a top speed of 10 kilometers per hour, or 6.2 miles per hour, uh, if their jumping doesn't cut it for their escape. Now, to put that into perspective, the average speed the human can run at is around 16 kilometers per hour. That means that this granola rat ran a faster mile than me when I was in 6th grade. And that's that! The kangaroo rat. Wow, that kind of rhymed. I hope this is now your favorite animal, because right now, as cute as it is, uh, this project kind of makes me want to, like, hold it underwater, you know, until the bubbles stop. God, I'm so done with these videos. It's 11 p.m. and I haven't slept yet. What am I doing? <sighs>Hi, sorry, excuse me, do you have a uh, yellow Gatorade? Yeah, it's, I think it's like near aisle like 13. Aisle 13, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Guess it wasn't aisle 13. Great. Um, I forgot the granola bar. Hi again, sorry, where are the granola bars? Granola bars. By the snack. I can go with you. Oh, sure, thank you. Is this for Instacart? Huh? Is this for like Instacart? Uh, no. I need it for a school science uh, project. Oh, I see. Is there no bars? Yeah, there's no bars. Thank you so much. It's hiding behind this one. <laughs> yeah, thank you. This is what this thing is.